Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you uh, how to play a full playthrough and review of the Passion expansion for Sagrada. Um, this is one of my favorite games. I love Sagrada. We have, what's the other expansion? Uh, Life, I think. We have the Life expansion already that we purchased, but they sent us this expansion. Um, we let them know we love their games, so they, yeah. they were very kind to send us this expansion. Um, so I'll go over the quick things that's been added with this expansion. It does give you um, player abilities, which is really cool. There's six of those, I think. Um, they're called inspiration cards. They have a green die on the back of them. And so you just deal one to each player and they give you abilities that you can use once per round. Uh, I think one or two of them have once per game. Um, I didn't look through them thoroughly, but the once per round for me, after drafting, so you'll have your draft pull out here, I can spend a favor token to switch one of those with one on the round tracker. So it does the same ability as the lens cutter tool, um, but however, it only ever costs one favor token where the lens cutter tool, the first person only costs one favor token and thereafter it costs two for everyone. So I have the ability to pay only one for the whole game once per round if I'd like. Anthony's is um, once per round, he gets to re-roll any one of the drafted die if he'd like. So that's a, a really good, it didn't help him last game. He never rolled the number he needed, but <laughs> it is a good ability because it gives you the chance. Good in theory. <laughs> and I don't, I never used mine actually. I thought I was going no, to. No, you used it twice. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah, you used it twice. Oh, I guess I did. I didn't think I did. I used this one, <laughs> but um, it also adds new um, private goals. So there's a little dice with a three in the bottom right corner. That's how you know it's from the expansion. Um, actually, they're objectives, sorry, private objectives. So that makes it easier when you're done playing this game. Any of the cards that are added have that little black three in the bottom right, so you can remove them and put them in the expansion box. So it makes it really easy to separate if you um, between games. There's also added public um, objectives. We're using two of the public ones from the um, expansion and one from the standard. There weren't any tool cards added, but the coolest thing is this rare uh, glass dice um, and the rare glass, di glass dice boards. So there's six of these and you just use one and you replace one of the tool cards that you would normally have out for everyone with one of these rare glass dice boards. So that's why we only have two cool, two tool cards <laughs> instead of three. You roll it and you put it into the slot. So one of them has three dice slots. Um, they have two, one, two, and three dice slots available on these. We just randomly chose one. You can only have one of these glass dice in your window, so that's why we only have two out because once you've used a favor token to obtain that, um, you can't get another one. And we assume it's not um, stated in the book, but I assume it, the rule works as the same as the tool cards. The next person it would cost two favor tokens to obtain because um, it is a tool basically. Um, and then the next dice you just roll, once someone takes this one, you just roll it and put the next dice in there. Um, everything else is basically the same. You're going to choose your window based on difficulty. Ours is a five difficulty, so we have five favor tokens. Um, placement rules are the same. You can't place any of the same color or same number value beside each other orthogonally. Um, we have our public objectives are the light shades, which is sets of ones and twos. Every set gets two points. Here's one from the new expansion. It's called the entwined colors. And basically it's the pairs of, in that pattern of the same color, you get four points for every, each one that you have. And then this one is called the diagonal color link. So for each dice you have that are uh, um, linked, you would get two points. So they just have to be touching diagonally. 
Um, yeah, largest diagonally connected. So not orthogonally or, um, but only diagonal. So, and it can, it doesn't have to be in a straight line. You can see this have to be diagonally touching. Um, and then our private objectives are ones from the expansion. They are, they always involve the rare glass dies. So you want to try to make sure you get that on your board and try to, um, Get your goal. Mine is every color that's different around it gets uh, points. Mine is pairs of the same color or value adjacent to your rare glass die. So pairs of the same number or the same color that's around it and adjacent will get points on his. So we're going to get started. And we, in a two player game, we're going to roll five dice and we pick again. This is actually our second take, our, uh, <laughs> our SD card on our camera was corrupted, so. Okay. So. This purple one. Oh, that's a lot of red. Actually, I'm going to take the red one. I think I'm, that was because of the public objective. Okay, and so Anthony gets to go a second time based on the turn order rules. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get that then. Forgot. That would be hard to... Can't do that one. Okay, and... And we'll pro I'll provide the link for the Dice Tower. Dice Tower in the description. Um, Isn't so. it C3 Labs or something? Yeah, something I think like so. that. Okay, so I get to go twice. Don't be looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I made that accidentally. Twice. I'll use my ability. Oh, can't put it there. can put it there. Why wouldn't you put it there? I thought it has to be a chip. Oh. Diagonally. Yeah. Yeah, it's diagonal or orthogonally. I always forget that. All right. Yeah, touching diagonally or orthogonally made me question myself after. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see. 
Your roll. He's picking out more than five. You're a rookie. So I have completed one of these. Mm -hmm. Actually, this goes here. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll spin the favor token and get that one. Negative again. There'll be two left since I used that instead of one of the drafted. Okay, so there's three left. My turn. Um, it's yours. I thought I did roll. Mm -hmm. hmm. You and me. Huh. A lot of green. Oh, no. <laughs> Hoping you wouldn't take that one. No, that's good here. Or that one. My turn. Mm -hmm. This one. I always pull six for some reason. And technically I've also achieved that public objective here because the what the clear one is any color. You go twice. Oh yeah.
Sorry, we're not talking much. It's a thinking game. And it's fast, so mm -hmm. it's like you have to stay focused. We haven't been using any of our tools. Well, try for this one. I am going to use a favor token and take this dice right here. Or I have to switch, swap one, right? Oh, I can just swap one. Where did I take it? From there. My turn? Nope. I made it limited for you. Hmm. So you swap one of those. What's that? You swap one of those for one of those. Oh, actually, I can't do that. Why? Did I go twice? Hmm? I didn't go twice, did I? I almost want this one. Did I go twice? I don't know. I didn't. So actually, you gotta, wait. you gotta wait. And then you could go. I won't be using that one anyway, but... Man, that's really bad if I remember her turn that's order. Actually, that was a good one. So now you can do it, whatever you were doing. This one goes here. Yeah, you know, the whole uh, alternating that messes with me. Got a good variety. I'm going first. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I like, like, was watching you. Like. Sorry. <laughs> Let's focus. Anthony doesn't follow the rules. Like, whatever. Rule snooze. <laughs> why, do we have, why do we have so many left? Let's here go again. What are you talking about? Oh, we still have two more. Okay. So let's see. Wow. Kind of stuck. I have to do this. You have, to switch where, you have to take one of those and put it where you just took that from. Oh, sorry. No, I can't use any of those, so it doesn't matter which one you take. I know, but... <laughs> it goes on top of wherever you took that one from. Okay, so... She's the pro at this game. She even has the app. Yeah, I, I, the app, I like it, but there's not enough people to play it. And the app is like $5. You, you can purchase it on Google Play. And it's really fun. It actually spoils you and it actually makes you kind of, because everything's automated. <laughs> so I had to refresh myself. On, I've been playing the app mostly. Um, but I wish there were more players on it. And it is a little slow. The app takes a while between um, 
course, I have a different phone now, so maybe this phone would be better. But um, yeah, it was not. It's it needs a little improvement the app, but it's still fun. It, it is definitely a fun game on the app. It's the exact same game, but it's fun to play and compete against people. Um, so I was going to switch. She's trying to say I'm that competition. <laughs> <laughs> they can't beat me in this game. So it's, I do need competition. <laughs> okay. So who's turning? Um, your turn to roll. So last round. I'm surprised because you're good at stuff like this. I'm surprised that you don't beat me more. Ooh. 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 My turn. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got lucky. I can't play some done. You can't? Oh, yeah. You can't roll it? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, it's blue. You don't have any favor tokens? Mm -mm. Okay, so Anthony's stuck, so he can't play. So now we just um, take all these off. Get our scoreboard. And so every unique color surrounding the glass die of mine. So it's one, two, three, four, five colors times three, so it's 15. Um, I didn't have any empties. I have two favor tokens left, or two. All my sets are ones and twos. So I have one, two ones, and I definitely have more than two twos. So I get four points um, for the color sets. One, two, I think that's it. So I get eight points for that. And then the diagonals, one, two, three, four, five, six times two, so it's 12, 41 points. Okay, so Anthony is for each pair of colors or numbers. And you can only score them once. You can't score them twice, so. Um, Four. Actually, this would be better. One and one numbers. They agree. Mm -hmm. It actually be the same. So four. Actually, no. One, eight. two. Actually, three sets of colors would be best. Your best score. You have a pair of greens, a pair of yellows, and a pair of reds. That would be your best. So you get twelve points for that. He's minus one for his uh, empty spot. Um, ones and twos. I got two sets. Actually, three. Three sets. So he gets six points. Do you have any inter 20? One. This one counts as anything, so you get two. Okay, yeah. Two. Where's your other one? Oh, yeah, you can't count those twice at all. Think, can you actually? I think you can. Yeah, you can. So be eight. Mm. Twenty-five. And then what's your longest link? So eight. Okay. It's pretty much almost so the same. Thirty-three to forty-one. Yeah, we're always like eight points difference. Yeah, yeah. Always. <laughs> but I love this game. I, this is one of my fa top, definitely my in my top ten games. Just Sagrada, the base game. Um, so, what do you think of it? What do you think about the expansion? You know, I love it. Yeah. I, but I really think, um, even though I I love the base game, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the base game. But if you played it quite a bit, oh, this a lot better. definitely enhances the game because the player abilities. I do like having a different. Um, tool 
and there's six more different so it adds more variety and it adds more um to me it makes the game easier to, mm -hmm. with the the glass die because it um and the player abilities also in my opinion make it easier to score because you're able to manipulate more whereas in the base game you're it's it's definitely more difficult to get your board um full did you, did you count these two of yours yeah oh. i think so um so i for me it really enhances the game it's a lot of fun and so if you felt maybe it was too limiting in the base game and you wanted more variety more different abilities this is definitely an expansion that you would want to get um it's for me it adds a lot yeah to me this is probably one of the best expansions in a game that we've we've ever played a lot of expansions will add a little bit more complexity and it just changes the game a lot this one keeps it to the core and it just adds where you're able to do just a slight more but it doesn't really change the game that much yeah the mechanics yeah. are the same it doesn't change the rules. It's just adding a little bit more um, tweaks. Yeah, so this is definitely a must get for if you have the base game um, because it really does enhance it and and doesn't make it more complex. Yeah, and, and like I said, if you, like we keep our expansions on games like this separate. Mm -hmm. So you'll just want to remove those cards with that little three die in the bottom right corner and then you could easily go back and forth if you have more than one of the expansions and add one of the expansions to the game. Or if you just want to play the base game, um, you could just play the base game without them. So I like the way that they do the expansions that way when they make it very easy for you to pull out those cards so you know um, you could go back to the basics. But definitely, for me, this is a... Mm. Definitely, I would give this a 10 because yeah. it's my favorite game anyway one of my favorites and this expansion definitely i would give the expansion 10 too because like i said it's one of the best expansions that we've encountered in a game that it doesn't make it like change it to that much so and if you've watched our channel for a while i never give games more than eight even if i yeah. really like them eight for <laughs> me is a good score it has to be exceptional for my opinion, to get a nine or a ten, so eight is a good score for me. But which, so giving this a ten <laughs> says a lot. I never ever give games a nine or a ten. It's rare, yeah. <laughs> very rare. This does make it a lot more funner though. It, it does. It does make it more fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the base game, mm -hmm. but if you've played it a lot, because I've been playing this game a lot on the app, and um, when they'll play with me. <laughs> 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 but, it's not fun losing all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. I, you're good at puzzles. Yeah. And and Quentin, for some reason, he's it, this game stumps him. I'm surprised because he's usually good at strategy games. So I don't know why I, they can't beat me in this game. But yeah. <laughs> but I've played the app a lot. So for me, this makes it way more fun because it it just makes it um gives it more variables that I'm not used to. So. Definitely um, a must buy if you like Sagrada, if you already have Sagrada, or if you want to start playing Sagrada, get the base game plus this expansion. I would definitely suggest that if you enjoy games like this. And it's a beautiful game with the the colored dice. Um, it's just really beautiful. So um, do you have anything else you want to say? So thank you for watching. We will put the link um, in the description for this expansion and for the Dice Tower if you're interested in checking those out. Um, they sent us, I want to say C4 or C3 I Labs. Can't I can't, it's something like that. Um, we've had it for a while. They sent this, um, we did a video on it when we first started. on our channel. <laughs> so they sent this to us to in, to use in our games. We haven't brought it out that much because a lot of the games we play are so big there's just no room for it. So anytime we get the chance to use it in our videos, we do. So we will put the link for that as well so you can check those out. They have a wide variety of um, dice towers to choose from. So thank you for watching. Um, please leave us a video or video. <laughs> please leave us a question or comment if you'd like. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, share it with your friends, and 
Most of all, we hope you're subscribed. If not, please subscribe to our channel. We do put out a lot of content, a lot of different games, and um, the more uh, views and likes and things we get, the better games and more games we will get because publishers want to work with successful channels. So <laughs> thank you so much for supporting us, and we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>